so what we have tried to uh, uh, what you call cover in this uh, important course is how there are many ways to skin the cat and what are the different ways we have shown that how to manage a mature hard brown cataract and then how to do small pupil and hard cataracts and how to do a subluxated hard cataracts as well now we come to the final that is the flax in hard brown cataracts there is femto laser assisted cataract surgery in hard brown cataracts these are my financial interests so you need to combine the technology with the technique the technology is available with you in the form of various machines like uh, uh, stellaris or whatever centurion whatever machines are all the machines are equally good the key to the refractive cataract surgery is increased refractive accuracy decrease complications like corneal edema and posterior capsule rupture choose the best quality visual eyewells visual quality eyewells and exceed the patient expectations you know how the artificial intelligence is taking us by storm and in the form of uh, in the diagnosis of diabetic retinopathy glaucoma and various other conditions as well can a computer perform better than a human brain obviously it can do because the precision is much better and we have different uh, what you call the flag systems the catalyst the lens x and the lens a are the victors now the zimmer is also there and uh, just to show you the difference between a manual faco and the flax the manual faco is similar to sachin tendulkar okay sachin tendulkar is good only in one uh, what you call aspect of cricket one uh, format of cricket whereas dhoni as you all know is uh, very good in t20 is uh, very good in one day international very good in test as well so that is the versatility of dhoni so when compared to sachin sachin is also a great guy so manual faco is also very good black like, flax is something which is better because because you have all the advantages like uh, um, doing the incision you can do the incision main port side port unless you have a dense arcus and lis can do the lri which is actually very predictable less than one diopter i do the lris perfect rexis nucleus liquefaction you can work in complex situations like white cataract brown black cataract subluxated cataract and all these uh, uh, this thing so the fragmentation settings i think it's beyond the scope of this lecture but uh, how many of you are using flax any any of you are using i'm using the catalyst machine any of you are using that no okay anyway whatever it is it's going to become the future because as the companies are going to reduce the cost as well and it's going to be more um, affordable to everybody and this is going to be the probably the way to go you have the soft cartridge you have, you have different thing all these are what you call pre programmed in this you uh, know uh, uh, in the uh, in the flax machine in the femto catalyst machine vertical spacing the grid spacing the horizontal spacing the medium cataracts are also there the hard cataracts are also there the, the the vertical spacing the grid spacing the pulse energy all these are the raw cut cataracts they all what is just like you put your parameters for your faco you can put all these parameters in this thing automatically when when it, when it shows when you put it as a raw cut cataract or the hard cataract all these parameters come into play just to show you the different uh, uh, this thing wherein the quadrants in in a, in a medium cataract you can go for four quadrants uh, in a, in a, in a hard cataract i go for the eight quadrants or the octants these are called the, the four quadrants then they have the sextants or the six quadrants which is again very very important so these are the brown cataract you can see here these are brown cataract this is what we are uh, we are talking about in this uh, particular course it's like a piece of granite inside the eye and uh, you can see how Uh, saying how big the cataract is its nucleus and more nucleus no ap nucleus not much cortex as well what is the challenge the challenge is is uh, difficulty to crack the nucleus because of the leathery posterior nuclear plate thin posterior capsule large nucleus poor or no cortical cushion increase in sense of corneal edema and post operative corneal decompensation and you increase in the pcr so if you do the conventional divide and conquer and stop and chop you can end up Uh, in using lot of uh, uh, what you call fico energy and you can have a corneal burn and like this you know the consequences of a corneal burn like irregular astigmatism wound infection i'm sorry uh, intraocular infection inflammation wound gaping and all these problems occur you can have a corneal edema like this for example after a, a manual fico you can have uh, in a brown cataract uh, <coughs> if you don't follow the proper meters uh, parameters but uh, but the uh, the protocols 
So the corneal edema may clear up in about a month. Sometimes it may clear up in about six to eight weeks time with the use of hypersol. But sometimes, many of the times, the corneal edema can be associated with cystoid macular edema because a lot of uh, uh, inflammatory cytokines are released into the eye, a lot of prostaglandins when there's a corneal edema. Or you can even have something like a TAS or a fibrin reaction on the lens. When you have a femtophaco, these consistently you can deliver clear corneas and the pristine wounds as well. You can see the clear corneas day one and that is the advantage. Just to show you one brown, it's actually a cataract on Nicra, it's a black cataract you can see here. I'm doing a manual, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, 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 phaco emulsification. I'm doing, making, doing a big trench and every time I bury, this is a vertical chop technique and uh, I'm using my sharp chopper which is about 2 millimeter. Uh, uh, as I told you, it's a Mohan Rajan chopper available with Appa Swami. And normally I use 1.75, but cataracts like this, I use 2 millimeter. And uh, the advantage is that it opens up the posterior nucleopathy. You can see how many times I need to bury. And every time I bury, I need to give FACO energy. So this to show you the difference between a thing. Of course, it is doable. And it is we know we, if you follow the parameters, now and then you need to put viscote into the anterior chamber making sure that you separate that nucleus all the way. You can see here how it is, it's almost like a black cataract. You can see here how the cataract of Niagara is there. And these cataracts are very huge cataracts, very thick cataracts. And uh, the zonules are also a little weak, you need to be careful. And you have to be a little careful about lateral separation, bringing it up and uh, making sure that you uh, thing and not much chatter, not no movement of the nucleus. So again, these are the parameters I use on a stellar mission. Just to show you on a, a similar case, a brown black cataract, you can see here. I'm just the rexis is already done, the pre chop is already done, and I, need, I just need to go in. And you can see here, I'm chopping that. You can see very fact that the gas bubbles are coming from behind. It shows that the chop has gone all the way into the posterior nuclear plate. I don't have to. I just have to bury that using a very, very minimal uh, uh, FACO thing. But apart from that, the chopping is becoming very, very easy. And because it's already chopped and the rexis is also beautifully done and uh, uh, it makes the life very, very easy. And once I chop, because once I uh, uh, separate the nucleus uh, into into smaller pieces, then it uh, uh, the, the rest of the, uh, the FACO emulsification is like a child's play for you. So just to show you another patient, you can see here how uh, uh, the, the cataract, uh, uh, I'm using the femto laser assisted cataract surgery. The parameters are there for all, you, for, all you, for, for all of you to see. And again, just to show you that the different parameters, this is a white cataract. Many, thing, many things, the people think that the catalyst will not be able to penetrate. Don't underestimate the versatility of this catalyst or the flax missions. It can, as long as the OCT is able to recognize, you can see this is a white cataract and many times, you know, if you do the white cataract uh, capsulodexis, you end up in Argentina flag sign. You can see the, the pre-cuts are already there. The, uh, the, uh, the chopping is already there. I need to go in and separate that in, in, the, in, the, in the cleavage planes, which are already there with the, with the, with the chopper. And sometimes I can use only a Simsky, Simsky hook. And, and that opens up the posterior nuclear plate because already it's cut and you can even soften the nucleus also. So it makes the life easy, not much FACO power and uh, the amount of the FACO energy is very, very less in this case. Just to show you another patient with a grade 3, grade 4 cataract, I'm just showing you the, again, rexis is done already, free floating rexis most of the times, 99% uh, uh, of the time. And uh, you can see here, I'm just using a Sinsky hook and just burying that. Just to show you that the, because of the, the pre-cut is already there, pre-chop is already there, the femto, the uh, liquefaction is already there, the cutting is already there with the femto laser, uh, it's easier for you to separate the nucleus and you can go ahead with the surgery. And these are octants, sometimes you do six or six tens, but I do octants because I want lesser pieces, that is eight pieces, uh, I'm sorry, more pieces uh, uh, and uh, so that uh, it uh, makes the life easy for us. Just to show you how the uh, another patient, uh, you can see here, I'm, I've done the main incision, I've done the side port incision as well. And the uh, advantage of the femto laser assisted incision is, is a truly a triplanar incision. Only thing is the incisions are a little corneal. But if you have dense arcus in list, probably uh, the incisions uh, uh, will not uh, uh, work. 
and uh, you can see here how the cataract is quite dense you can see the pre chopping is already been done uh, uh, with the, the, you can see the cuts into into the nucleus and i need to just to go in and bury the bury the phaco again a vertical chop chopping in right in front of the rexus margin so you know exactly where your chopper is and go vertically down like this and uh, uh, with the phaco probe as if you are going into the anterior vitreous not parallel to the capsular rexus margin again i am chopping that because in the same area where the femto has made the cuts there and you can see the gas bubbles are getting released so the very fact the gas bubbles coming up it shows that the nucleus cut has gone all the way into the posterior nuclear plate again another patient you can see how beautifully it's uh, there just to show you a corneal guttata the patient has got a very sick cornea and a, and a very brown cataract as well you can see the pupil is also not very well dilating and this patient wanted a, a, a required a, a thing but it makes life easy because already the rexus is done the pre chop is done and uh, a very little amount of phaco energy is used and i will go ahead and do the uh, the cataract surgery without any problem and uh, it ma makes uh, life easy for us i can see the post operative despite the cornea uh, being quite sick you can see the post operative the cornea is uh, cleared up in day 1 and day 7 also it's very good again a patient with a subluxated heart cataract what uh, uh, is a shuttlecock injury the shuttlecock injuries are probably the worst injuries can ever have and you can see her how the uh, entire nucleus is wobbling around the rexus is the most important uh, challenge in a, in a subluxated cataract so the rexus is done it's a mature cataract so it has gone through and it has cut the rexus is already done and uh, i am just supporting that area of the zonal weakness um, i put the ctr as late as possible because uh, 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 yeah, i don't want the ctr to go and trap the new epinucleus and the cortex there i as long as i am able to su support in this case the zonal dialysis was only about 3 uh, or 4 clock hours and can see here i just have to go and pick up the nucleus because already it stopped there and uh, i don't give much stress on the bag because already the bag is very weak because of the zonal dialysis and uh, the rest is very very easy and then going ahead and the end of the surgery i put the ctr at that time and then remove the cortex and then we think uh, put, put the ctr and put the mcc lens so femto phaco the advantage is that you can have consistently clear corneas clear wounds in all these patients and uh, the from the that is the biggest advantage just to show you a patient with the with the, again a brown cataract and also white cataract you can see here argentina flag sign and type 1 intumescent cataracts white cataracts the flemto works wonderfully well and uh, the uh, you can get this consistently good rexis and no argentina flag sign only thing is look for skip areas there sometimes it may not be a free floating sometimes it can be small attachments or micro attachments within there again small pupil heart cataracts if it's a pupil is a uh, uh, less than 5 or 5 point uh, my cut off is around 5.5 if it's around 5.5 i go ahead and do the femto and that is the biggest uh, advantage because already the rexus is there and another advantage is the catalyst machine it cuts beyond the rexus margin so and uh, it makes a life again very easy reduce surgical time reduce effective phaco time more precision clearer corneas and reduce complications uh, white cataracts heart brown cataracts posterior polar cataracts subluxated cataracts fugue endothelial dystrophy nowadays we have what is called lot of these in between cataracts that is called the nhnt cataracts what is the nhnt it's neither here nor there very difficult to crack these cataracts crack these or chop these cataracts or even uh, uh, suck these cataracts or uh, the, so that, that is a problem and the nhnt cataracts also it works very well so thank you again aos for this wonderful opportunity and uh, the patient attention for all the delegates and i would like to thank my faculty dr nitin nivian of course sujatha has not been able to come 